Hi, I'm Dustin Martin and welcome to episode one of the Garage Drum Builder, the online video show about DIY drum building. I'm starting this show because there's very little video content on the market right now about drum building and many tasks are just easier to understand uh, if you can actually watch someone doing them instead of just looking at pictures uh, about the process. So, uh, in this first episode, I'd like to talk about a beginning toolkit for drum building. Uh, these are the tools we use uh, for the first few months of this show to build this snare drum out of a pre-made ply maple drum shell. To get started building drums only requires a few simple tools. Someone with a reasonably well equipped home workshop will already own most of these. The most important tool for a drum builder is the router. It's what we'll use to cut a precise angle on the bearing edge of our drum with the aid of a special jig. To start out, you'll also need two router bits, a 45 degree chamfer bit and a two flute straight bit. While using a router, there are a few health issues you should consider. Routers are quite loud and make a lot of dust, which is pretty terrible for your ears and lungs. I use a respirator and a set of earmuffs, but at the very least you should wear a pair of earplugs and a dust mask. You should also pick up a pair of safety glasses for your eyes. For making snare beds you'll need a half round file. Having a flat and round side makes this a very versatile tool. You can use it to shape both inside and outside curves. Next you'll need a few tools for marking the locations of the hardware on a drum shell. A combination square is the perfect tool for making accurate, repeatable markings and ensuring that everything stays nice and straight. You'll also need an ultra-fine point marker for making precise layout lines. Once you have the hardware locations laid out on your drum, you'll need a drill and a few bits for making holes for the hardware. Any type of drill will do, the more important thing is the bits. Get an 8th inch brad point bit and a 6 step unibit. For assembly, you'll need a screwdriver and a drum key. If you don't already own one, a 6-in-1 screwdriver is quite useful. Finally, you'll need a 48-inch straight edge to use as a router guide and a pair of clamps for holding jigs. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first episode. There's many more planned uh, in the coming months. If you have any questions or comments about the content of this episode, send me an email at dustin at thegaragedrumbuilder.com. Thanks for watching.